down a little bit too much. Um, I would still like to have more sforzato in both hands. The great challenge for, uh, for me, teaching John, for example, is the concept of, you know, the hand almost being, instead of two hands, we have four hands. And this is the soprano section, the alto section, the tenor section, and the bass section. And how one voices music and how one balances the textures of all those, you know, choir uh, elements. Uh, because 99% of piano music really is based on those fundamental aspects. All the great composers um, write in a, in a certain way that the hand has to be um, strengthened. You know, the, the weaker part of the hand is where 99% of your melodies and thematic material are um, uh, written. This part of the hand, which is heavier with the thumb, of course, is the lighter part that, ha that has to be softer uh, in general. And the bass, of course, again, with the weaker part of the fourth and fifth finger, has to be strengthened. So I'm always aware of that um, orchestral, choir-like um, texture that um, has to be brought out. Fine, but you know, just that little... The privilege for me with John is he has such a wonderful, intuitive, great ears. He listens very intensely. And he's always wanting to make things better. Also, I think he is blessed with an inner wisdom and patience and maturity, which is quite rare. Um, because, you know, when you're young, you tend to be somewhat impatient. Classical music takes time. It takes time to really absorb music deeply and have it mature over a period of time. It's not just the... But For me, well, working with a variety of talents, but in, in particular with John, it's um, it's a pleasure. Uh, a privilege. Good. I think the solution is padim ti, just ti. This year, Mr. Krieger has taught me like the character of the music, not just playing the notes correctly or doing the markings correctly, but using them to bring out the idea that the composer had in mind so that the audience can feel it and what was going through their minds when they wrote the music. And then as a pianist, how I can bring that out in my playing so that it, it shows in the music.